What's up, Diva? So I'm back with another wig tutorial. This one is by the Janet Collection. You can definitely pick her up at samsbeauty.com. And her name is Angie. This is a 4x4 human hair blend unit. There are combs in the front and in the nape along with an adjustable strap. The color that I have is called Daisy. So if you're wondering about the color mix, you're not going to find it in your average crayon box. But it is more or less like a color number 27 mixed with kind of like a number 3, 4, at the root along with that the tips are also colored as well so it is called human hair blend meaning honeys you think it's going to be human hair like it feels like human hair like and it kind of looks like human hair but it's actually not I love the units that are human hair blend because listen they look the most natural the most realistic like for real you would think that it was growing out of your scalp well that's if you style it right so I do like the texture of this I do like the length and the density plus you can part it to the left the right the middle and what's cool about that is the swoopage is real on both sides. You know what I'm saying? Like if you part it on the right side, like I'm doing, you can get some swoopage. If you part it on the left side, you're going to get some swoopage. If you part it in the middle, you're going to get some swoopage. Now, also, I will say this. Being that the unit is more or less like kind of like light yakky texture, it just also is heat friendly. So if you want to put a little bit of bump in this, I would say go ahead, be careful, you know, heat at your own wrist, honeys. Now, I do like Janet Collection. I have not wore a Janet Collection wig in a minute, so I thought this one would be perfect for the occasion. Plus, I do kind of like these styles, you know, with the swoopage. I love swoopage, and plus, I like the length. It's more or less like a 22 inch on me, but depending on your torso, it might be 20 inches or longer. So for me, with any type of synthetic lace front wig, girl, I always pull out some of my front hair perimeters just because I do like it to look natural. I try to blend it in like I am doing right here with my makeup, foundation, concealer, pressed powder, whatever you have that is more or less like your skin complexion, then go ahead and put it in the part. Use a small brush. Definitely use a small brush because you don't want makeup all over the place and just blend, blend, blend. I also do use... um what I call hair filler fibers which also kind of like fills in my hair at the hairline makes it a little bit thicker to match the wig quality but also it will help if you have thin edges and you will see me kind of like pump that spray in my hair within like the next couple seconds like right now so this does help with my thin edges it makes my hair appear darker more fuller and it gives you the illusion that I have like these perfect edges as well so, like I was saying, you can definitely pick up Angie at samsbeauty.com. She's really inexpensive and she's very natural looking, especially if you're on a budget and you still want to look cute, hunties, then you definitely will. She takes well to hairspray, as you guys can see, and I think she's super cute. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for the rest of the pics because, you know, I do like to take some selfies. So on that note, I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay diva and delicious. Make sure you rate, comment, subscribe. All of the info is at the bottom. And I love you guys. Bye. 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 Bye.